Okay, on today's list, we're going to learn how to do um, cut comb frames, um, which are, in my opinion, the best because they're the most chemical free. Back in the day, um, 20 years ago, we used to use um, just natural unwaxed foundation, unwired, excuse me, unwired foundation. But with all of the chemicals people tend to possibly use in treatment of different things you just don't know what's in your wax so uh, that you buy and I try to keep my my colonies as chemical free as possible so anyway I thought of this idea which is actually brought over something from a top bar hive this is um, using a starter strip which um, to do this you pretty much need a table saw if you're going to be a beekeeper you need to invest in a table saw you can pick them up used for like less than 200 bucks. Um, as a matter of fact, you can buy just a portable unit, a DeWalt or something, a good quality one for 200 bucks if you catch them on sale. But um, anyway, you'll need a table saw. Um, I recommend some poplar uh, and you need a pot with some wax and you need um, top and grooved frames. Now, um, this is the same frames I use my plastic foundation in, so I'm not investing in extra frames to do this. And the cool thing is, is I can convert it back to a regular frame very easily. So anyway, so what you do is you start by ripping uh, your little sticks of wood here uh, to, first of all, I plane mine to right at a half an inch thick. You could use a three quarter, but but honestly, if you go a half inch, you're gonna have more comb and less waste. And but yet there's enough that the bees will will draw that out properly. And the width, which is a little hard to do with with holding and width here is 1.55 inches. Or let's convert it. which converts down to 386 millimeters. So, anyway, the width is real important because you want it to fit in the groove snugly um, and basically just be a, um, a nail-free fit. And the length, let me see if I find it. Come over here to my messy wood shop, which you can see I've been milling cedar. And our length on those sticks is right just under 17 inches. If you can get focus. Yeah. So um, your width on inside your frame is right at 17 inches. So I made mine just a hair smaller just to make sure that I was going to uh, run into any problems. Now, I've got two sizes of frames here. I've got deeps and I've got mediums. Now, the deeps I'm making for my bait boxes because the bees love to make all natural comb. And if you fill a bait box with a bunch of foundation, they will reject it because I don't think there's enough room in it. And, but if you use these, if one of your bait boxes comes up um, intact, you catch a swarm, well, you can just leave it. You don't have to go up there and rush uh, because they're gonna be building on the roof or something like that. So I'm making these for my bait boxes, although I could put them, if I use deeps for my honey supers, I could use them in that. And the medium here is what I am gonna use my cut comb with. So as you see, it's pretty simple. You just Set that sucker in the groove, push down, and I visually check it. Now you see it's a little too thick on this side, so it's not fully seated. 
So we have our little hammer here. Make sure she's all nice and seated. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for just a nice groove. And basically a little over a quarter of an inch of wood. Now when you cut the comb out, you'll be able to use all the way from this part to the very tip. And you could, if you wanted to, you could top and groove, top and bottom these, meaning that you could put a stick at the top and you could also put a stick at the bottom. But um, you wind up losing more comb that way, and I think they'll they should build out in a straight line. Bees bees like to build in curves, but you give them a straight line to work with, and they do a pretty good job. So anyway, last step, which does two things: it encourages the bees to build, and it also um, helps secure the um, the stick because you can have humidity changes and all the these are a nice snug fit there's with humidity that might change if your frames are a little um, a little on the uh, dry side or moist side or whatever whatever wood if they have different variations in humidity level um, they can shrink and not shrink evenly and wind up with loose so all we do here is we take a little Chinese bristle brush and take our melted wax and just brush it on right in the groove and we do that on both sides you want to make sure that you get the top of that bar completely covered in wax and you don't have to be stingy with the wax it's but of course you don't want to put like a ton because then that's a waste of wax anyway that's it and that frame is ready to go in and really the only thing it cost me was you know the price of a cedar board that was 17 inches long and one board that was about 12 inches wide made all these sticks so i've got um, a lot of material for a lot of frames Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, um, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.